In many projects we need accurate local time. With our ESP chips we have some libraries to get NTP time, as shown in video number 67. Unfortunately, most of these libraries do not adjust for daylight saving or summertime. Today we will change that by using standard ESP functionality. And we will see if hippies were involved in this matter. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with a Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. Today we will create a small sketch that gets local time adjusted to all sorts of daylight saving and summer times. And to show you how to use it in a project, I will create a fake DCF77 transmitter with an ESP32. Let's start. NTP stands for Network Time Protocol. A network of servers around the world can be connected by our ESP devices to get an accurate time. Unfortunately, these servers have a significant disadvantage. They only transmit UTC. They do not offer time zone support, nor do they provide support for daylight saving or summertime. And sometimes they limit the number of requests. So you have to limit the number of calls too. We have to solve these problems. Plus, we want to base it on standard functionality provided by the ESP32 and the ESP8266 kernel. This is important because the ESP32 comes with some advanced commands which are not supported by the ESP8266. This spring, G6EJD showed in two of his videos that standard Unix time functions also work on our ESPs. Because I frequently get questions about my old library and because I wanted to port my DCF77 transmitter from my Raspberry to an ESP32, I had a reason to dig into the topic. But I'm too fast. What is Unix time? It is also called Epoch time or POSIX time. And it is the number of seconds that elapsed since the new year of 1970. You find many online calculators to convert local time into Unix time and back. If you call a standard NTP server, you get this number, which is usually called Epoch. Right now, it is this number. And because the current format is 32-bit, it will overflow and go to zero in 2038. In my age, I have to decide if this is a problem I have to care about or not. According to this website, I should still be around by then. So I hope we will not get the next year 2000 bug in 2038. Anyway, to get accurate local time, we have to perform these three steps. We have to get the time. By the way, this function uses the SNTP protocol. We have to convert the epoch into a usable time. And we have to adjust this time to our local time, including time corrections. Fortunately, all this is provided by standard Unix functionality and is coded in the time.h library. This library is already installed in the ESP kernels. So we can go on and define the NTP server. For our purpose, it does not matter which one we select because they all deliver precisely the same thing and travel time from the server to your device is not relevant for most of our projects. I usually select a so-called pool of servers because they should be more reliable. Here you find a list of all available servers. Before we call a time server, we have to define the time zone. In simple NTP libraries, we only can choose one time zone. Fortunately, the POSIX standard not only cares about time zones, but also about anomalies like summer or daylight saving times. Here you should find the appropriate string for your time zone. You do not have to understand how these strings work. Just copy the string to your sketch. But if you are interested, we can have a closer look at the strings for Switzerland and the UK. For Switzerland, it is this string and for UK, it is this one. CET, CEST, GMT and BST are just names. The numbers minus 1 and minus 2 mean that in winter, here we are one hour behind UTC and in summer, two hours. The UK in winter is on UTC 
and in summer, one hour behind UTC. This part means that we change from winter to summertime in the third month, which is March, in the fifth week, which is always the last week in the month, on day zero, which is Sunday, at one o'clock in the night. Up till now, the British do the same in UTC. But who knows if, after Brexit, they will not create their own time zone. You never know with the British. This part means the dark part of the year starts in October, also on Sunday in the last week at 3 in the morning. Nothing complicated and taken care of by the ESP kernel. Cool. Now we are ready to call the defined NTP server with this function. After a successful call, the variable now contains the epoch of the current time. As said before, a 32-bit number of type time t with the seconds from 1970 on. Not very useful for most of our sketches. To go further, we have to introduce a structure and two functions. The first function, local time, converts the epoch number into a string. With these three lines you can print it. But if we need the numbers for further calculations, as in my fake DCF77 transmitter, we need to know a structure called TM. For all who do not know structures, these are variables like int or float. But they do not only contain one value. You can include as many variables as you want. And the compiler takes care of that. Usually, structures are not predefined and you first have to write your own definition. In our case, tm is defined in the ESP kernels in time.h. It contains at least nine integer values and the name of the structure definition is tm. Be aware that this is only the definition of the structure. If we want to use it, we have to create a variable based on this structure. This is done in our sketch, where we create a variable called timeInfo. But please pay attention. Before they defined the fields, the guys probably drank too much beer. Why do I know? Of course I do not know. If it was only beer or something else. We have to remember, these definitions were done in the 1970s, somewhere in California. Maybe by hippies, where LSD was nothing special. If you do not believe me, you can read this book by famous Tom Wolfe. But maybe you were there and can tell us the real story. But I digress. I have to come back to how they defined the structure. Hours, minutes and seconds start with zero as we would expect. But months also begin with zero, not as everybody would expect, with January being month one. The weekdays start OK with Monday as 1, but Sunday is 0, not 7. And the year does not start from 1970 as the epoch. No, it begins with the year 1900. Now you know it and it's not too complicated to adjust for it. But don't forget it. Otherwise, you search for errors like I did. Without beer, by the way. To fill this structure, we can use the function local time underscore r. We already know. Now is the epoch number and time info is the name of the structure. After that command, the time info structure contains the actual time as we can see. By the way, if we forget to set the POSIX time string, we get UTC. That's it if you do not call the NTP server too often. If you do not want to call the server every second, you can use the function get time reduced traffic. It updates now using the internal ESP clock without calling an NTP server. Of course, this clock is not accurate and has to be adjusted from time to time. Then the NTP server has to be called. Every hour is probably okay for most of our applications. Let us now use this function in a real situation. In video number 287, I built a fake DCF77 transmitter using a Raspberry Pi. In the meantime, I found a sketch for the ESP32 and created a cute little box. Aknik uses Spanish variable names and comments and he also uses commands like config tset time 
and get local time, which are only available in ESP32. So I changed the language into English, used the functions shown before and did some other tweaks. Be aware that the sketch only works on an ESP32 because it uses the PWM functionality, which is implemented differently in the ESP32. And I'm not sure if we can reach a PWM frequency of 77.5 kHz on an ESP8266. For the antenna, you can use what was shown in video number 287. And here you can see how you can use the variables inside a structure. You just use the name of the structure, a point, and the variable name inside the structure. Simple. Summarized, we have discovered a possibility to use standard commands available in the kernel for both ESPs to get correct local time. We can write code which compiles without changes for the ESP8266 as well as the ESP32. We know how POSIX time strings work as well as we learned about the availability of a structure called TM. We still do not know if beer or LSD was the reason for the weird definition of some variables in the TM structure. We also got a simple function to reduce the traffic to the NTP servers. And finally, we used the knowledge to build a fake DCF77 transmitter using an ESP32. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You will find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.